Hello artists, welcome to your spring fox painting class. In front of you, you should have your cup of water, a paper towel, a large brush, a small brush, your canvas with your sketch of your fox and your tree. You do have a lot of colors today. Be sure you have your light blue, your red, light green, your darker green, your yellow, your teal, which is kind of like that blue green mix. Also, you have your paprika, which is an orange color. You have your brown, your white, and your black. So there should be about 10 total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I do recommend a plate for this painting class as well because we are gonna mix. Uh, if you do not have all of those supplies in front of you, you're welcome to push pause on the video and come back to us whenever you're ready. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two brushes and swirl them around our cup of water and gently pat them on our paper towel and get them nice and clean. So just swirl and pat. We are gonna paint our sky blue first. I'm gonna take my big brush and that light blue that I have. I'm gonna come just on the outside of it on the left side and drag my brush on the outside of that tree so I know where to stop with my blue sky. I'm gonna do the same thing around the branches. So all around the left side of this tree, I'm gonna drag my big brush with my light blue paint. Like so. Perfect. Once I'm done, I can also carry it over to the top it kind of folds over and to the bottom where it folds over the top and bottom I do also want to outline around the fox area as well I'm gonna go back to my big brush and my light blue paint I'll start with this little triangle shape right here so I'm double sure that I don't paint inside of it so that triangle shape and then I'll go make a bubble around my fox I'm gonna on there drag my big brush and my light blue make a nice bubble around my fox again this will just kind of guide me it'll let me know when to stop with my blue sky and I'll also carry the blue to the sides and I'll carry it down on either side of the, the shirt or the body as well so sorry it's this example right there but a nice bubble around my tree and a nice bubble around the fox. Take your time with that, no rush. But once you are done, you can start painting that blue sky. And I just kind of use an up and down formation with my brush to keep it looking nice and clean. And you can go over your lines that you just made too, so you don't see them as, um, as well. So I'll start above the head I'm gonna keep my big brush in an up and down motion, even down here. Underneath the right side of our fox. And then that little space between the tree and the fox, we can cover up with blue. Nice, long, smooth lines. And then to the left, I'm gonna paint that little triangle and I'll kind of continue on to the left of the tail. It's a nice blue sky. In a moment, I'll paint um, the left side of my canvas as well. Be sure to kind of go between the branches. sky all light blue like so all right so the front has light blue to the left of the tree I'm also going to paint to the left of the line I made up here so to the left of the tree up here as well it's going to painting side to side I 
and the complete left side of my canvas. The right side will be where the tree kind of folds over, so don't worry about that. The left side I do want to completely cover in blue. And to the left of the fox down here to where I made that line earlier, I want to paint to the left of the fox and to the right of the fox like we did earlier, the fox in the tree. Before I'm done with this, I am going to go back and give it a second coat. Uh, you can probably see all those brush strokes um, in the background. I want to kind of get rid of that. And by the way I do that is I give it a couple minutes to dry and then I go over it with a second coat so I can cover some um, more areas of the canvas. I'll just kind of go back, give it a nice second coat. As you can see, it's covering up the canvas that much better. I would probably give it two or three minutes to dry, so I would probably give it more time if we weren't videoing. But you definitely wanna give it a second, maybe even a third coat of this light blue sky. You can even do the sides again if you like. Just go over all your blues a second or maybe even a third time I think third would work even better. So if you are still working on this, while I'm moving on, you can push pause and do your third coat of light blue sky. So again, if I were you, I'd probably go back and give it a third coat. If you wanted to pause the video at this time, you can. And then go back and give your light blue a third coat so it looks just that much cleaner and better. All right, once you are done with your sky, go ahead and wash and dry your big brush. So swirled around really well. I like to even give my brush a nice hug. So I'm gonna wrap it around like so. Make sure all the paint is off the sides of it, nice and clean. No blue at all. Perfect. I'm gonna push this a little higher. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint some areas of my fox white. Let's put our big brush aside for a moment and we'll jump to our smaller brush and our white paint. I'm gonna go into the tip of the tail. Be very careful, you don't want any of the wet blue paint to touch the white paint or they'll start mixing. I take my small brush and paint inside. So if you wanted to give that some time to dry before you went close to it with your white, you can. There's also some other areas of white I want you to go ahead and paint. It's triangle shape. It's okay if you go over your pencil line a little bit, we'll find it later but don't completely cover it. And all I'm doing is outlining the shape of those triangles and then just kind of filling them in in up and down motion. There's another triangle shape right here too. Be very careful of your wet paint. Outline the white and, fill, excuse me, outline the triangle and fill it in. So one, two, three, four shapes. The next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna work on this pocket down here and make the shape of the pocket and then fill it in. Let's go ahead and go back up and on the sides of the fox's face, I'm gonna kinda come in a little bit to the right of that pencil line. I'm gonna outline it and then fill it in with white. It's okay if you get a little bit of the pencil um, smeared, you can just brush it out go around the eye the best you can too. If you accidentally get some white over it, it's okay. We'll go over it with, with black later. Also, if you feel like your white is kind of bumpy, you can always go over it with your 
bigger brush to smooth it out. Because it is a smaller, thinner brush, it'll make more lines. But again, I have a super clean white uh, big brush, so I want to make sure there's no blue on that. I'll do the other side of the face too in white. I'm coming in on the left side of that line. Going inside this shape. Later on we'll be outlining our fox in black too, so you'll find the outline again. Soften up some of the white, like so. And then the belly area, small brush again. I come in the inside of this with my small brush, paint it white, like so. I'll even bring it down too on the left side, on the right side, and just kind of paint that middle section all white. And again, you can soften it if you see so a lot of bumpy lines, you can go over it with your brush, just kind of, your bigger brush and just kind of smooth it out. Perfect. I think those are all the areas of white. All right, and now I'm going to wash and dry both my brushes and I'm gonna start painting my tree. So I'm gonna give some, this some time to dry. I don't wanna put any colors near it so it doesn't mix or blend. The next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna mix a little bit of brown and black to make this darker brown for my tree. So all I'm gonna do is take my big brush, get a little bit of black, not even a scoop, I just kinda of dipped it in there. I'm gonna mix it and make it dark brown. And you can always go back and grab some more if you need to. I might go back and make it a little bit darker. I go back just off to the side of that black, get a little dip make it a nice dark brown like so and once i'm done mixing my brown with a little bit of black i'm just going to wipe off the sides of my brush so i don't have big clumps of paint on it then i'm going to go in there and outline the outside of my tree and then paint it all so i'm going to just start up here Drag my brush all the way down. I'm gonna go on the inside right here. I'm gonna cover up any white though that I see. I'll outline this shape. I'll outline this shape right here. And then I can start going in there and painting it. And again, I would recommend two coats and don't forget where your tree curves over on the bottom and on the top. And you'll even be painting this whole brown side with your brown black mix. So I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna paint again in an up and down motion, making sure there's no white peeking through, getting a nice solid brown and black mix on my tree. And then before I put any flowers on top or any leaves, I do wanna let it dry so my pretty flower colors don't mix with uh, the color of my tree. That branch is white. Okay, there we go. as well don't forget about the bottom where it folds over and again I would recommend two coats so you're welcome to push pause on this video and go back after a couple minutes and give it another coat so you don't see as many brush strokes so it covers up your canvas that much better Oh. 
and again, recommended two coats. Make sure it looks nice and clean. You can always drag the side of your brush if some of it got on the outside onto the glue. So you can kind of clean up the outside edges. I'm gonna sweep down and just gonna sweep out more. And then I'm gonna wash and dry my brush. The next step is pretty easy. We're gonna use that orange color that you have. Be careful that it's not the red, you have that orangish color. I'm gonna paint this part of the tail, this part of the face, and this part of the belly area. I'm gonna outline with my small brush and fill in with my bigger brush. If you are not to this part, you are welcome to push pause until you're ready. So small brush, I'm gonna start with my small brush. I'm gonna go in there and outline this part. And I'll outline all those areas first and then start filling them in. So this is with my orange color and my small brush. I'm doing my line work with my small brush. If you're having a hard time moving that orangish color, you're welcome to add water to your brush, tap it on your paper towel and then go over it. It'll smooth it out so much better. So if it's having a hard time moving, dip your small brush in your cup of water, tap it on your paper towel about five or six times, and then nice, long, smooth lines. And then down here underneath the sweater area. This. I want to go to the left side of the belly and the right side of the belly and over here where the white and blue meet. Later on I'll go in here and paint those two areas. And then for top of kind of the face, I'm going to go around these, this triangle right here. I'm going to go around this triangle right here. And then I go in there and Get this curve right here. Go above the nose. Get this curve right here and just kind of clean up that shape. That shape. And then I can put my small brush aside and start filling in all those spaces. So be sure you've outlined those three areas. And then you're gonna go back to that orange color in your big brush, the bottom part of the tail. Be careful, if you need to use your small brush to get into those small areas, you can. You're just kind of working in an up and down motion. Be very careful with your brush. Again, two coats. You can always paint all the sections and then go back to where you started from and do a second coat of this orange. It's called paprika. It's a little bit of orange and brown mix. You can definitely go back, give it another coat. here to the left side of the belly. And you do want to make sure all the paint is nice and smooth. You don't want to see any bumps. You want to go over and smooth it out. You don't want to really see any of your line work either. And the bottom of the belly, the left side and the right side. Like so. And again, I would go back and definitely do another coat of each section, giving them a couple minutes to dry. Just kind of cleaning it up. If you want, you can even do a third coat. Just be sure you're giving them each a couple minutes to dry 
before you go over it again. So you can see that a little bit better. Once you're done, go ahead and wash and dry. I think our tree is still a little bit wet, so I'm going to kind of give it a little bit longer to dry and maybe work on some other areas. I'm going to wash and dry my big brush, make sure it's all off, all that orange color. Same with my small brush where I use it to outline. Right. I'm going to start decorating my fox a little bit. <laughs> so I am gonna start with uh, a pink. And I, as you can see, I don't have pink on my plate, so I'm gonna use my small brush and grab a, two scoops of red and three scoops of white. So two scoops of red, three scoops of white, mix it to get a nice light pink. A nice light pink on there. So the top part of my sweater, so underneath the chin area, I'm gonna use my small brush, maybe even wipe off the side so you don't have too much pink on there. So I'm gonna outline this area with my pink and my small brush. I can go in there and fill it in. It's a small area, so I'm gonna just keep with my small brush and just kind of go over the bumps. Be sure it's nice and clean. Perfect. And I'm gonna get a scoop of this pink that I just made. I'm gonna add another scoop of white and make a super light pink. I'm gonna make some super light pink cheeks, maybe even a little bit lighter. Maybe adding two scoops of white to that mix that I already made. So super like baby pink, really light. I can wipe off the sides. And then kind of to the left of the eye, Coming down, I'm gonna make a little circle, tiny little circle for a cheek. Same with this one to the left, excuse me, to the right of the eye. I'm gonna come over here with a little circle, tiny little circle. And if your little circle got too big, you can always let it dry and then go around it with white to kind of white it out. Make it a little bit smaller. Those look like two cute pink cheeks. I wanted to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go back to that pink that I had already. All right. Once I'm done, I'm gonna wash and dry my small brush really well. And I'm gonna add yellow to this middle part, yellowed. I'm gonna use my small brush, and you might wanna give your pink a little bit more time to dry if it still looks shiny and wet. Bring it in. Okay. And I continue to use my small brush in that small area. much yellow on there. I'm going to smooth it out. So pink, yellow. The last color I'm going to use is teal. So that's that really pretty bluish green color that you have. So small brush, teal. And I'm going to be very careful and outline underneath my pocket. Again, you can add water to your brush. Tap it on your paper towel. Make sure there's not too much water on there. And then go back and smooth out your teal color. And then over here. And I'm gonna paint it all teal. Maybe even give this two coats because it seems like it's a pretty thin teal. Be 
before I decorate my shirt or add any flowers or anything, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then I'll come back to it. I think it's a good time to start building flowers and leaves up top because it looks like it's my tree is much more dry now. Again, if you wanted to go back and give anything another coat, I probably would with my tree and my fox. You can still see a lot of the brush strokes, but that's absolutely up to you. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a really clean, small brush, maybe even hug it with a paper towel. That first pink that I made at the top of the sweater, so not the lighter one, but that first pink. And again, if you're still working on your sweater, no rush. Oh, you know what? I think I wanna even go back here and get closer together now that I look at it. Ooh. So let me clean that small brush again. Really get it nice and clean. Hug it with my paper towel. I'm gonna go in there and use that darker pink that I made for the top of the sweater and I'm gonna use that for my flowers. For my flowers, really easy. I'm just gonna make some circles. So one, two, three, four little mini circles with my small brush. And I can do as many as I want. So again, one, two, three, four, To my darker pink that I have. One, two, three. Another one down here. Again, you can add as many as you'd like. That's my smaller brush, and I'm just making four small circles. It's kind of random, but you can follow my order if you want. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far. Put another one down here. After I have a good amount of flowers done, and again, as many as I want, I can go back and give them a second coat if I want to kind of give a little bit more coverage to those circles by just letting them dry and then going back over them. That's up to you. And then I can wash and dry my small brush. In the centers of the flowers, there are some yellow dots you can use the back of your small brush and just dip it into the yellow paint, so the back of your small brush, and just maybe give your flowers a minute to dry and just maybe jump three or four times in the middle. So back of my small brush, up, 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 like a stamp, just kind of adding yellow dots in the middle. Again, giving your pink some time to dry before you go in there and make it official. Like so. I can just clean off the back, clean off anything that has paint on it. And then next we're gonna add some leaves to our trees. For our leaves, we're gonna use our small brush. I'm gonna start with my darker green. And then for our leaves, they kind of look like football shapes. So I'll make one on this one right here. I'm gonna come up like a rainbow and come down like a smiley face. And then I can go in there and paint them green. And I'm just gonna add this wherever I want, the dark green. I'll add one, I think on pretty much each flower. So kind of a rainbow shape, kind of a smiley face, paint inside of it. They're coming off of the flower shape. I'll make another one here. So a rainbow shape, a smiley shape, fill in. Go back to that dark green if you need more. That shape, that shape, fill in. 
you can put the leaves anywhere off of the flower. Just make sure it all kind of works together nicely. They're not all facing the same direction. So you want it kind of random. Some to the left, some to the right, some facing up, some facing down. Okay, if they overlap over the flowers a little bit, they kind of look like they're coming up from behind them. Then again, same old, same old. I would probably do two coats of this green. Once you're done with your darker green, give it a couple minutes to dry. Again, if you want to do a second coat, you can let that second coat dry. And then you're going to go to your lighter green. So I'm going to wash and dry my small brush, dip it into the lighter green and a lot of times I'm just going to start at the same kind of corner that the other one started and then fill in that same kind of football shape where it looks like a smiley face and a rainbow a lot of times they connect too just be sure you have some going to the left some going to the right maybe some above see that shape and then that looks like an eye shape too and then of course second coat so you don't see much of the tree peeking through. I'll shape over and over again, keeping everything nice and small. You don't want to take over any of these shapes. Once you're done, if you want to go back and add some more, you can. It's it's up to you. Um, you're welcome to go back and add flowers, leaves. Kind of make it your own a little bit more. I'm gonna wash and dry my brush. I do think for mine, my teal looks a little bit wet still. I'm gonna kind of go into those drier areas and give it a second coat so it looks a little bit cleaner. Then I'll start decorating. Fox's sweater and outlining too. And I want to give this a second coat now that it's a little bit more dry. And start decorating a little bit more. Okay, then I'll wash and dry. I really wash that teal off. It tends to stick a lot, so you can hug it with your brush. With the back of my brush again, I'm back to the back of my brush. I'm gonna add some teal to the back of my brush. I'm gonna add some teal dots on top of this yellow. One up, one down, one up, one down, one up, one down. Let me go over that one again. I kind of lost that round shape. I'm just kind of adding some dots. Up, one down. Maybe kind of avoiding the pocket area too much because I'm going to build flowers on it later. Okay. Clean off the back of it. For my pocket area, I am going to build some flowers coming out of it. So I'm going to be very careful of any wet colors around it, but I'll go back to that dark green. And on the right here, I'm going to make kind of like a V shape with my dark green. And I'll add some flowers in it. So I'm going to wash off that dark green. And I'm going to get maybe a little bit of a darker pink. So maybe just a scoop of white. So a scoop of red and a little bit of white. And a nice dark pink. So the darkest of the pinks that I've made. So small brush. And for my flowers, I can just make some dots for those maybe four or five dots on there be very careful of your teal you might want to let it dry before you get close to it so just kind of push down on my brush making some petals on the outside i'll let that dry for a bit before i add 
anything in the center. I'm going to wash my brush. I think the... Let's see, I'm going to leave that there. I'm gonna add, okay, so for the pink, let's add some yellow dots. I'm going to take the back of my small brush, dip it into the yellow. So I'll add some yellow dots on the pink. So the back of my small brush, the pink looks nice and dry. This is kind of random. It's not like this zigzaggy one, but this is kind of all over the place. Again, I'm gonna let that teal dry and I'll let my flower dry. I think we're at a good place to start outlining and then we can go back and kind of do the rest. All right, outlining is small brush only. You can even get it wet and kind of twist it so it comes to a nice point. And I'm gonna drag my brush when I outline. I'm not gonna stop and go, stop and go, because that's gonna create scratchy lines. So let me show you how, and you're welcome to jump in whenever you want. Just be very careful and be very careful of any of these wet areas. So I'll kind of avoid the t-shirt area, or the sweater area, excuse me. I'm gonna go in here and make these two triangles. Again, you just wanna be on the tippy toes of your small brush. You wanna have nice thin lines. Of black and then I'm gonna outline this. Just drag it, keep it going until it's out of hand. You can always go back for more. Like so. Perfect. I'm gonna go up here. Kind of trace around this the end of the tail. Drag that brush. Outline it. And then I'll even use my uh, some more black to outline the whole tail. So I'm going to come up here to the right and I'll drag it. It's a little bit of black and I'll come here to the left and I'll keep it going. And one end to the next. You can always go up the other way too if you feel like you didn't get all the space for your black paint. Come here to here. And there is a line from here to here. Be very careful of your teal. Like so. There is a line that separates the face from the tail. So I'm just going to go on to the left a little. And I'm going to outline on the outside of that white. Like so. And I'll start going on the Tops of the ears, one, two, and to the right of the face, one, two, perfect. And I can outline the bottom of the face. Should be very careful. There's some yellow dots. I'm gonna go in there and outline the bottom. Paint all of the nose. All right. Continue on outlining. I was going to go into the nose. Sorry about that. And then outline the nose and paint it black. Come up to the left of the sweater. To the right of the sweater. Now that teal is a little bit more dry. Remember again, the harder you push, the thicker the lines become. And I can even drag this hair down here. Just be very careful not to drag your hand in any of the paint. In here. some lashes, three on each side, kind of further out, almost like sun rays. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then around the belly. Right. I also do 
you want to outline around that white pocket. And just drag your brush. And there you go. Just want to double check I went around the tail, make the triangles around the face and the nose, the eyes, the lashes, around the bottom of the mouth, the left side and all the way down, the right side all the way down around the pocket and around the belly. Perfect. Wash and dry. I think the last thing I'm going to do is add a couple more dots. So I'm going to wash and dry my small brush. I'm going to take the back of my small brush dip it into that yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow in the center of that flower and a dot of yellow in the center of that flower. Perfect. I'm gonna take some of that pink from the bug sweater and bring it down on top of the teal. Again, by using the back of my brush. So I'm gonna take that pink, kind of middle, medium pink. So not the darker one that I used for these flowers, not that one I used for the lighter cheeks, but the back of my small brush. Again, a little bit more random for this one. It's kind of all over the place. Okay. Clean off some of it, got kind of crazy there. And some fun dots. If you wanted to go back and touch anything up, you absolutely can. Just remember if a wet color touches another wet color, it is gonna mix and blend. So if you wanted to wait for things to dry before you build on top of them, you definitely can. But otherwise, you are all done with your Spring Fox painting class. I hope you had so much fun. Thank you so much artists for joining us and have a beautiful day.